three months into the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, Russia's energy sector is now feeling more pressure. A Monday, Poland announced to terminate imports of Russian natural gas, though the current contract won't expire until the end of 2022. Along with Bulgaria and Finland, Warsaw has refused to accept Russia's new ruble-based payment mechanism that Moscow introduced in late March. Polish Climate Minister Anna Moskowa, who announced the decision on Twitter, said, I'm quoting that Gazprom was not reliable partner. Russia requested what it calls unfriendly countries to pay for its natural gas in Russian rubles starting in April. This has, to a certain extent, led to the appreciation of Russian rubles. As for military confrontation on the ground, over the past day, there were almost no territorial changes and the pace of Russia's ground offensive decreased. Now, Russian forces are focusing their efforts on several Donetsk. If the city falls under the control of Russia, it means Russia will control almost all of Lugansk. Meanwhile, Kiev extended its general mobilization order by three months, suggesting it is planning for a drawn-out conflict. Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister Andrei Rudenko said on Monday that Russia is now ready to return to the negotiating table with Ukraine as soon as Kiev displays a constructive position and the response to Moscow's proposals. The two sides cannot reach an agreement on the Donbas region and Crimea. Zelensky a couple of days ago said Ukraine won't accept any deal that compromises its territorial integrity. Zelensky in his speech at the World Economic Forum today called for stronger sanctions on Russia, asked for more weapons and suggested more businesses should quit Russia and invest in Ukraine. Kremlin hasn't given any comment on his speech yet. Li Jianhua, CGTN, Moscow.